Hi, this is Rahul Fatak. In this video, we are going to see how do you personalize your Oracle Fusion environment, okay? The personalization functionality is offered through something called uh, managing sandboxes, okay? So the way you access the sandbox is f go to the main menu and go on manage sandboxes. So the goal of this uh, task is, uh, we are going to do a simple task. In this uh, task, we are going to um, switch the look and feel to the native look and feel of cloud, okay? So I'm going to go and manage sandboxes, okay? You go and create a new sandbox. You have to give it a unique name. So let me give a name called test one, okay? Uh, this is test one too. And then description is not mandatory. Let's put in some description and say save and close. Okay, so it will create a new sandbox for me. And in that sandbox, I can change the look and feel. I can make some fields mandatory. I can put some validations, you know. And then once you are comfortable with what you have done, you can publish that sandbox so that the entire settings um, can be applied to a Fusion Cloud environment. So we will see that in a moment. Once it creates a sandbox, it takes a little bit time to create a sandbox. So let's hold on tight. Okay, still doing it, still doing it. Okay, so it created a new sandbox, okay? And then that's the sandbox. And I'm, the next step I'm gonna do is click as set as active, okay? So you'll see the menu here where it says vision. It is gonna change and put me in my own sandbox. It, okay, so now you see on the top left hand side, it says Sandbox AppCore SB Test 1.2. What it means is it's created me my own version for me to play around and do the setting changes. Okay, and when I'm satisfied, I can publish that back to the environment. So let me go there. So the way you change the settings is um, you go here and then click on more okay there's something called appearance okay we are going to change the appearance of this environment okay, click on appearance okay so this is how the current environment is looking it will show you the preview it will show the label color you can you can you know you can change a lot of things here so if you want to change the image color or something else Let's change the image color to, let's say, put something like this one, okay? Magenta, for example. See, it will change the image color to magenta. I'm going to change it to now to, let's say, dark blue. And whether that would look good, let's put it green, okay? See, the label, the image color changed. So this way, you can make, change the background color. You can change uh, the text color. All these things you can do, you can change here, okay? So you can change the logo file. So what that means is if I put it in, I can update a logo file. So if I have my own company's logo, I'll create a choose file here. And then it'll, you can basically choose your file from your computer and upload it. And then you can change the logo from Oracle's default to your corporation, okay? So I'm going to say default home layout. I'm going to go, this is a setup. And I'm going to go and select themes. So 
All right. And then basically you can change um, the preview of how it looks. Okay. And then actions. And then what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm just want to make it the default setting. So I'm going to say apply default. Yes. Okay, see, it brought it back to the natural colors, okay? And then um, once it is there, you can, once it goes to default, you can have different screens here. Uh, let's say, let me see it on vision, okay? So that's how it looks, okay? You can change themes. If I want like a crisp green theme, these are, these are the, these are the, um, um, native shipped by Oracle, okay? I, you know what, I like this, okay? And then maybe I, I want to keep this screen, for example, not the native one. So let's say I'm going to click on apply. Okay, and then I want to save the theme name as test12, okay? That's my new theme. So it's saving it, okay? So see how it changes it. I'll click on actions. You can delete any other themes if you don't like, which you created before. And then click on apply. And then here you can go in and go back and do any other customizations or personalization if you want to, okay? And now it is there. So you go back, let's say all my changes are done. I'm going to go back to my sandbox. Yes. Remember this is a sandbox and then it is active, okay? Now, as soon as I click this publish button, our sandbox will be published to all the environment. So every other user will see this look and feel. So I'm going to say publish. Okay, so it's going to prompt me a message. I'm going to say yes. Okay, it's doing it. Voila. Okay, so this is the new environment, a new theme. Okay, so when I log in, to this environment, let's say I'm going to sign out. I'm going to say confirm. And I'm just going to sign in back again, or I can use any other user. Let's say I'm going to use uh, any other user. And then, uh, okay, just, I don't have the password. So I'm going to sign in back as that, that user again. So see, this is my um, new look and feel, okay? This is how you would do your personalizations in Oracle Fusion environments. Thank you.